Vlad, listen to me. You and Russia just go around invading sovereign nations. OB, let me ask you. What can you do? Do you even have a plan? Vlad, do you think we are stupid? Of course we have a plan. But why would I tell you? I'm asking as one friendly nation to another. Pull out. You know what I think. You don't have a plan. You don't know what to do. The United States is our paper tiger, a toilet paper tiger. There is nothing you can do. Sticks and stones. Vlad won't help you. We'll order sanctions. The Western community is not happy with countries that use force. Listen to me. There are Russian lives at stake in the Crimea. The people there are happy to see our troops. Besides, they have no sanctions that can affect Russia. Vlad, you can talk tough. But just you wait and see. You have no economic leverage over Russia. We have our own oil and other resources. You can't shame us. I stopped your tough talk in Syria. You are a toilet paper tiger. Goodbye. OB. What's wrong? That was Putin. He just hung up on me. He says there is nothing we the US can do. He's right. Your Syrian solution has gone nowhere. The Afghan Karzai has defied you. That deadline is coming up, and Egypt has ignored you. And you still won't stop their aid. Michelle, I'm trying. Good morning, the world is in crisis. The dilemma facing the US is what can we do about Russia? Hopefully Rudy and John can bring us up to speed. Ariana let me say this. Up to this point all of our dealings with Putin have been woefully inadequate. Right it's time for action. If Putin is allowed to get away with his unprovoked attack against his neighbor, US credibility will be in the toilet, down to zero. Okay, great, but I ask what can the US do? We are in the middle of a global chess game and right now we have no good moves. We can impose sanctions against Russian state-owned banks and financial institutions, and terminate all negotiations with Russia on a possible trade agreement or promoting business. That doesn't sound like much to me. Secretary of State Kerry made plans to visit Kiev on Tuesday in support for the new Ukrainian government. And said that Russia risked eviction from the group of eight industrial nations. None of this sounds like a winner to me. I think in this chess game as you call it, the US is baffled and looking at a checkmate. How can you say that? We are the greatest nation on earth. I assure you that we have plans. Not anymore. You are war weary with its functional government, a bad economy, and worst of all, no vision or plan to deal with any international crises. How can you say that? It's treasonous. Maybe. But deep in your heart, you know none of you believe that you would consistently be defied by every third-rate government you think needs your help, so you have no plan, period. You can't be serious. That's right, you can't be serious. No gentlemen, in I'm serious, the US has no plan and there are many moves behind in the world's chess game, and there's no point continuing this discussion with you clowns. Doriana, it's Angela. I just saw the show. I'm telling you, that those two don't know what's going on. There will be no sanctions. Angela, hi, how come no sanctions? Most of the European Union members get oil and gas from Russia, so they will not risk losing their energy supplier. It makes for a very tenuous situation. Angela, great, thanks for the update. Next time you're in town I owe you a big dinner. 